Let me paint you the scene. Good, honest, taxpaying Phil was making a patio for his daughter. Phil cut a pair of perfect slabs. Oh, look at that, lovely. Before the grinder decided to take on a life of its own and things went a little final destination. Jumping back on him, the grinder fell on his ankle, nearly taking off his foot. I told you not to do it though, Dale. Did I say it yeah. to you the night before? Go do it. Clearly Phil doesn't listen to his wife, Leslie, so we've written it on the screen, meaning next time he'll have no excuses. I'm just thinking now, uh, what am I going to be like when he gets out? I mean, the sympathy just never stops. Who can take the dogs away? Not me. Phil's nurse, Phil, original, turns out to find a little bit out about his patient. Are you even a disagreement with an angle grinder? Yep. Do you think he'll be able to walk again? Leslie, you cheeky minx. Oh, I thought so. Okay. Do you work? Yeah. What do you know? Let's get popcorn. Okay. You want some? <laughs> what flavour do you like? I tried a savvy popcorn once. Oof, nearly ended up in A&E myself, to be fair. Let's have a look, see what damage you've done. OK, quick heads up, people. Things are about to get a little bit bloody, like the film Saw, but where the evil baddie mastermind is Phil's wife, Leslie. Seriously, squeamish folk might want to look away. OK. God, that grinder wasn't messing about, was it? Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Fortunately, I'm not squeamish. I only passed out twice because of the low blood sugar levels I have. What's next, Phil? The nurse. We'll give that a wash with a litre of saline. Yeah. And what I want to do is just pop this underneath your ankle. Yeah, put your feet up, mate. You deserve it after all that. Not laughing now, are we, Leslie? You probably feel a little bit bad about teasing him and laughing at him. See it now. Oh, oh, OK. Stop moving your foot down. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm carry on. I'm all right. Just lie back, Phil, and think of the patio. With that part of the ordeal over, Phil is wheeled off for an X-ray, which shows the bone is OK, but some of his daughter's patio has made it into his ankle. Which I suppose is better than finding bones under your patio. And if that isn't bad enough, just as he's being wheeled back, a tense situation arises. It's a standoff. Who is going to be the first to cave in? Oh, jeez, thank you. God for that. That was that was tense. <laughs> Phil was taken back to his cubicle to await surgery. Thank goodness he has his wife to treat him with kid gloves. So watch his leg. Oh, for crying out loud! Come on, Leslie. He's still got your daughter's patio lodged in his ankle. And here is our hero, Phil, who, having to decide between family and some much-needed peace and quiet chose to take the unconscious route. The gloves go on and Phil's leg is liberally smeared with more blood. What? Oh, iodine. Yeah, yeah, iodine. It's smeared with iodine, that's what I thought. I knew that. Yeah, to disinfect it, right? The surgeon hoses the wound with saline to try and wash out the bits of his daughter's patio lodged in there. Looks like I found some concrete. Probably won't be able to take that back to B&Q. They've got quite a strict returns policy, you know. And it's an ankle again. Yeah! That is the largest cast I've ever seen, and I have seen Game of Thrones. The next day, Phil reflects on his accident while checking that his foot is still, in fact, there. I don't like it when it happened. I really do. I wouldn't want to go through that again. Wise words there, Phil. Not wanting to rush back into sawing through your ankle tendons with an angle grinder.